welcome to another video. Today's topic is the alpha female quality of Kazakhstani UFC fighter Maria Agapova regarding her recent fight on UFC 272 against the Ukrainian Marina Moros. Now I'm only going to use one word to describe her alpha female quality and that is magnanimous. It means revealing generosity or nobility of character. The reason why I use just this one word is, you might be surprised to hear this, because she let Marina win the fight. Before I verbally describe further, let's watch a video by the channel Jiu Jitsu Diagnostics so you can get the idea. Moroz in this top turtle position, Agapova underneath. Moroz has a two on one underneath controlling the arm and she's gonna use her right leg out here as a drive leg and barrel her over. So Agapova could have really used her left leg here as base but she just barreled through and in quick time Moroz gets an arm in, threads it through for that arm in, one arm in, one arm out, for that arm triangle position. Now she's caught in half guard, she's gotta free that trap leg. But until then she's got good positioning, she's very high up, excellent pressure and now it's time to extract the leg. So. We're going to see that she's going to actually use a butterfly hook for the free leg, her free left leg. And she brings it in to extract her trapped right foot. And she's going to knee cut across. Now she's in side control with this arm triangle position. She's in excellent positioning. The arm is well up high, putting aggressive pressure. The arm triangle is a choke where the arm around the neck covers one side, and the own shoulder and arm is going on the other side. And couple things that went wrong here for Akapova. She's totally out of position, so she has a free hand not being utilized. I would say as a last ditch effort, it's best to actually turn away from your opponent, expose your own back, decrease uh, the lock, and escape from there. Or connect your hands together, aggressively bring your elbow inside, bring arms into frame, and try to recover from there. But she's just staying flat on the ground, shoulders flat, and not really turning or doing any sort of defensive motions. And you can see it's well under the chin. and. Excellent base from Moreau, so she is she's there and she's not going anywhere and gets stuck. Now furthermore, let's take a look at their fight records. Going into this fight, Maria Agapova was favored at minus 200, while Marina Moroz was underdog at plus 250. That can be told due to the fact that Maria Agapova has won most of her previous fights due to finishes while Marina, on the other hand, has won mostly by decision, as well as Marina had to cancel the previous four fights in a row due to COVID. And finally, if you look at this image of the moment referee Herb Dean is about to declare the winner, Maria Agapova was standing there looking exhausted and breathing hard almost intentionally, because if you think about it, do you think she would be that tired just from being choked by a head and arm choke in early round two? I don't think so. This is all an act because Maria Agapova gave her the win due to the fact that Marina's country, Ukraine, has been invaded and bombed by the Russian military trying to take over her country. Maria Agapova, knowing that she gets paid $25,000 anyways, gave her the chance for the wins in order to help her family, her people, and the sovereignty of her motherland. What a lovely woman she is. Thanks for watching, and if you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.